makes me feel this way don't know what you do hold my hand could you hold my hand look me in the eyes you and me yeah that's all i need and i'll be all right i'll be right here i swear that everyone and welcome to the beautiful wedding of Ash and Fraser. So on Ash and Fraser's behalf I'd like to welcome you all here to this beautiful place and say that today is made all the more special for them because they are surrounded by the people that they love and care about most in the world. Ash and Fraser you are without doubt each other's best friend and you share the same outlook on life and the same beliefs and values and the same great sense of humour, it has to be said. I know that kindness, respect and honesty are central to your relationship too, but your unconditional love and acceptance for each other is something that makes you both feel very safe and secure. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children, the hands that will join your family as one. I truly believe that we were meant to be together, but before I make any promises, I want to say thank you. 
Thank you for always believing in me, encouraging me to be the best that I can be. Thank you for making me a mother. You've given me the most precious gifts in Ella and Charlie, and there's angels in my world. I promise to love you, care for you, and try my hardest to stay awake to the end of every film you make me watch. But above all else, I promise that you'll always be my best friend, and you'll never be alone. Today is another chapter in our beautiful story, and I choose you as my husband to continue writing it. I vow to give you the best version of myself, and not to take you for granted. I promise to be a loving, caring husband. I will laugh with you daily, and hold your hand when you're sad. I promise to be a gentleman and put your happiness before mine. I bet to take every photograph, even when it's raining. <laughs> I promise to remind you that I'm always right. <laughs> I love you, and I vow to love you as we grow old and wrinkly. I, Ashley, solemnly and sincerely, solemnly and sincerely, accept you, Fraser, accept you, Fraser, in marriage, in marriage. I, Fraser, I, Fraser, solemnly and sincerely, solemnly and sincerely, accept you, Ashley, accept you, Ashley, in marriage, in marriage. I have very much pleasure in declaring you married and pronouncing you husband and wife. You may share your first kiss. I just want you, I just need you, I know what it is you do. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. You sell me, you stay, or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You say. I just want you, I just need you, I know what it is you do. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away, I want you for myself every single day.
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm a bit an old rocker, and Tam and some of the other guys will remember that. I'm a bit like a support group for ACDC. You really just kind of want them to get on, you want to get them off, and you want the real gig to really start. Firstly, uh, I'd like to thank, on behalf of myself and Karen, obviously everybody for attending this very, very special day for Ash, for Fra, and for the kids. I've got to mention, and I know I'm particularly biased in fairness, but Ashley, you've blown me away, but how gorgeous you absolutely look today. It's uh, incredible. The bridesmaids look fantastic, but what about these little ones? Jack, Ella, Charlie, and me and Laura. Absolutely outstanding. Ash, what can I say? As a wee girl, she was almost, always the most loving, happy wee thing you could ever imagine. She spent her days dancing, singing, drawing, all a wee bit scary. In later life, she would end up World Championships in America for dancing. She'd end up with a joint honours degree, one with art and design. And here we are now, with this beautiful, very clever young woman. And lastly, with Ash, is a mum to Ella and Charlie. It's something to behold. It really is something to behold. It's very special when you see them all together. It's a special love that myself and Karen, uh, they just love to watch. And it makes me as a dad very, very proud. Very proud. Over the years, Fra has become my pal, more than just a son-in-law. Myself, Chris and Fra talk about this regularly. And we know, between the three of us, we've got something very, very special. Fathers, brothers, sons. I'm sure you'll be happy. I'm sure you'll be content. If you're as happy and as content as what I am, we can. Then we went a long way there. Ladies and gentlemen, Fra and Ash. Fra and Ash. Thanks very much. Yeah, ladies, gentlemen, friends and family, half my beautiful wife and I. I'd like to thank you all for making a big effort coming here today to celebrate this special day. 29th of November, 2015. The day, I get the day I get down on one knee and ask the most important question of my life. Stephen, will you pay for my wedding? <laughs> All kidding aside, as you can see, my own parents have decided not to attend their big day today. As much as I'm gutted they're not here, I know the full support of my wonderful in-laws and Stephen and Carl. Back in 2008 when I met Ash, you both welcome into your family and treated me like your own. And I'm proud to say I'm part of your family. Stephen, you've taught me life lessons, how to fix lights, basic joinery, decking, how to manage Ashley. I'm still working on that one. Aaron. First of all, you look beautiful today. You're the reason that me and Ash are back together and are now husband and wife. You're Ash's best friend in a rock and I appreciate all the things you do and hard work that you do for the both of us. Bridesmaids look dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Only about showing them away. <laughs> but I'd like to also thank yourselves, Lauren, Ailey and Elise, the effort you've put in today and also Ash's hand do, which you thoroughly enjoy. Ashley, I can't quite put into words how proud I am today. I've grown up together, I started a family, and we've got closer through that. And I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with you. You continually amaze me in all aspects of life and the most hardworking person I've ever met. You deserve every success with your social media because I've seen firsthand the work that you put in. You're also a great mum and role model to our kids and you gave me the two most beautiful children and they're a credit to you because it's mainly yourself that's taught them to become the most amazing people I've ever met. In the 21st century and all, the first thing I did was go straight to Google, <laughs> writing my speech. So I do apologise if anybody's already heard this speech before. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for coming along today, making a special effort. It really has went really, really smoothly. Now, I touched on the stag do very briefly, and unfortunately, Big Fra took no well beforehand. Now, it would be easy for Big Fra to forget his, his stag. I thought I'd get you a wee gift, just, just so that you didn't, didn't forget your stag. <laughs> Never thought after all those years he would be here today, but I'm absolutely delighted for the two of you that we are. Yeah. I'd like to finish up by saying uh, how great an honour it has been to be Fraser's best man today. We've been friends for 23 years and it's fantastic, mate. So, Ashley, if I can be half a good husband to you as he has a friend to me. Uh, you, uh, you're on to have another.